there you are, YouTube. Right here. Number right three. Ready? Number three. Elf. Elf already. I bet you guys are going to like that movie. Yeah, Elf. that'll be a fun Elf. one. Elf. Yeah. Elf. Put it back in. Yeah. Daddy, do you want to pull that one Good job. Do you want to do that too? That, that one out right there? Elf. Elf. It says Elf upside down. Bing, Good we'll job. We'll do that one later. I don't think she wants any of those. That's very kind of you to share, though. They're for you. You can eat them. Putting them back? Probably the best idea. Our kitchen light has no chill. I'm just on, this is like a spotlight right here. This is a heat beacon on me currently. Just a beam of sun on my face. At least that's how it feels right now. Maybe it doesn't look that way. On my screen it does look like that. Like I am currently melting as if I am in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, we're about to put in Elf. The movie we just pulled didn't just, this is many hours later. I mean it's like, what? It's 8 p.m. right now and we pulled uh, Elf out of our advent at mm, maybe 6.50, something like that, almost 7 a.m. Um, but yeah, we're about to watch that and I'll, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you some bits. Well, I'll probably just show you the, the, uh, the, the, title the title scene at the beginning, and then we'll chat about it later. Remember when Infinifilm tried to be a thing up there? I feel like that was obsolete the moment it came out. I, I still don't really understand what its purpose was. I never really used it because I didn't know what I was doing. But anyway, we're about to put this in. Uh, nope. Uh. <laughs> Man, am I tired. I am extremely tired, which... I so... Like, I know that can, like, harm, like, the experience of a movie when you're very tired. And I think that might have happened. But I was also multitasking. I think that's why I'm so tired, was I had some work I had to do, and since I've seen Elf multiple times, I have no problem multitasking in front of it, or in front of it, <laughs> no problem multitasking during it because I just know the movie so well, so it's not like it's a, a fresh movie that I need to like really pay attention to. Um, so yeah, there was that, there was the multitasking aspect, and just once I finished my work and I was watching the end of the movie, I was just like getting so tired. And that scene at the end when they start singing Santa Claus is coming to town, spoilers, um, like when James Caan's youngest son realizes that James Caan is not singing, he's just moving his lips, when James Caan really starts singing, turns on that Christmas magic, and then Santa's sleigh starts flying in an amazing way, and the music gets all beautiful and perfect. That part, a lot of times, makes my eyes well up when I'm watching it, but it didn't happen today. And I don't think that's any fault of the movie. I think that's me bringing my own problems to the movie, I guess. <laughs> you know, I was tired, and I was just multitasking earlier, so I didn't have the whole, you know, beginning to end focus uh, of the movie, you know. So I just, I, I think all those feelings that sort of collect as you're watching the movie, at the very end there wasn't like that emotional sort of release where you just kind of want to cry because it's like, look, Santa's sleigh, it's powered on, on Christmas magic and happiness and joy and belief and hope and all those things. And, you know, that moment, I, I feel like I, I kind of ruined it <laughs> for myself. And I'm ashamed. I'm sorry. I feel, I feel very bad toward, toward, I feel bad that I did that towards the movie. You know, that was, that wasn't very kind. I, I didn't give movies their power because I multitasked and I was just so tired at the end. But, I don't know, that's going to happen. I shouldn't care too much. I do that all the time, so... I guess because it's a Christmas film and um, I don't know, just really want to feel the Christmas season, you know, uh, with, you know, I don't know, just 
I, I felt like I maybe owed the movie a little bit more, but I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's okay in the end. But I really am t tired and I still got to edit this and then go to bed. I think it's like 1030, so it's not that late, but I am just feeling very tired. So on that note, man, I only got three minutes. I don't even know if I have like four minutes. I try to get these around five minutes. I guess is it time for me to ramble? What else is good about that movie? Oh, here's a funny thing. We didn't watch the commentary tonight, but I've watched the commentary in the past. And Will Ferrell's comedy is not turned on during that commentary. He's just talking. He's just like giving you information about how they film the movie. Like it's not funny man Will Ferrell. It's just Will Ferrell the person giving you the ins and outs of how he made the film. Which is strange because if you watch other listen to other commentaries uh, for other films he's done, they are hilarious. Like Talladega Nights, Ron Burgundy. I think Talladega Nights, there were maybe like two of them. Talladega Nights, um, one of them I remember had like, it was almost like he was Ricky Bobby. He was playing Ricky Bobby like 30 years into the future doing like a 30 year anniversary commentary of the movie or something like that. I don't know. It's been years since I've seen it, but it was hilarious. And I don't really get time to watch commentaries anymore. I used to watch them all the time. I don't even know if they really even put them on media anymore. I would assume so, but maybe they don't. Um, but yeah, I was really big in commentaries for a while and it was just like strange to hear Will Ferrell like not crack jokes. He was just a person telling you how he made the movie and it was kind of boring. <laughs> I don't know if boring is the right word, but it was just like surprising. It was like, huh, huh, he's not being outrageous right now. And that is very strange. He is not on. That was very weird. Um, but yeah, I, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a great movie though. Very funny. Like, I was still cracking up, even though I was multitasking the first half, even though I was tired out of my mind second half. I, it wasn't so much so that I couldn't laugh and enjoy the movie. It was it was hilarious. It's always hilarious. But now I've hit that five-minute mark, so I am super tired, and I think I'm going to go to bed. So on that note, perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.